Well, welcome back to Houston Life. You know, originally from Galveston, Texas, Lupe Mendez is an award-winning poet, writer, activist, and educator that's on a mission to inspire the community to make positive change within their own lives and others. He's doing so with a collection of poems and shared with me the meaning behind his incredible and popular works of art. If I could tell my 18-year-old self to prepare for a coming war, he would tremble with fear because he only knew laced stories that embraced images of a cantaro, of a cerro, of a pobre pueblo romanticized in healthy corridos. Lupe Mendez, the son of an undocumented Mexicano, has grown to become a prominent figure in Houston's Hispanic community. My focus has always been on figuring out and looking at what has affected communities of color, um, and then also doing the job of being an educator and asking folks to think and be uncomfortable. That level of comfort being tested by the issues of race, culture, education, desegregation, and a system that just didn't make sense. Issues that hit on both political and emotional concerns. Well, I've used all those concepts and those ideas to help push forward, A, where do I fit in that legacy? Uh, but then also, how do I then use that knowledge to help inform the life of someone younger? Um, because these things are always ever present. And that's what inspired Lupe to create the Tintero Project, an organization that works with emerging Latinx writers and other writers of color to help tell their stories and pose questions that many are afraid to ask. Where were the missed opportunities between black and brown unity? Um, where were Mexicanos in the earlier days in desegregation uh, prior to 1970? Um, where were black communities uh, in regards to what was happening with the current uh, program? And why was all of this such a tumultuous and turbulent time in terms of the response? He's taking the importance of highlighting Hispanic and Latinx heritage by changing people's perspectives on different communities and the challenges and struggles they've had to overcome. I think it opens up avenues for communication and dialogue uh, between different communities um, and between what we know as history and what hasn't been included and how to reshuffle that and reorg it so that it makes a better sense. We get a bigger picture of what it is. And I think that's what, what this time frame speaks to. Absolutely incredible. Now, Lupe will be performing a special reading tomorrow night at 7 at the Holocaust Museum Houston for free. To get more information, just head over to our website, HoustonLife.tv. If you guys take a listen to any one of his performances, he really does just gives you goosebumps whenever you listen to him. He tells life stories, but he also tells stories to make you get motivated to get out there and change. And I think the delivery in which he tells those stories, it, it not only makes you stop and think, but it makes you stop and listen, which I think is really important. We do a lot of talking mm -hmm. these days, not a lot of listening. So great piece. Absolutely, yeah. He's going to be really, really great tomorrow. So go and check him out if you guys have a free time. All right, Joe. Thank you for that. Now